A lot of WhatsApp accounts are being permanently banned, but many people are not aware why this is happening. Why is WhatsApp or Meta cracking down on a lot of WhatsApp accounts and banning them permanently? Well, if you want to know about this and how to avoid it, then come with me. Let's go break it down. Okay, welcome back to Smart Depot Tech, and I'm so excited to have you right here. Well, if you haven't seen it, uh, there are several ranges of ban on WhatsApp application. There are temporary ban that could last for hours. There are ban that could lead to permanent ban, and then there is also a permanent ban from using WhatsApp on the phone number or on an account. So, um, if you haven't seen that before, it's happening. The question many people have is, why is it happening? Let's start from their terms and condition or terms of service, which is so, so, so complex. So, I'm not going to even bug you with that. But I'm going to break out about three to four major things that could cause that. Number one is your interaction with other people on WhatsApp. So, and this happens more in groups, you know, and in channels. So if you are in group and you post something, something that is not in line with the group policies and, you know, and then they report you and one or two people report you up to three people is enough for you to get a temporary ban. And if that goes on, if you're a repeated offender, you can get a permanent ban. Now, depending on what you are reported about, because there are many reasons why you should be reported. There are issues of spam and un unsolicited messages. There are issues of uh, sharing some phishing link. This one is more severe. And then there there is even higher one that is much more severe like you are pirating some things through whatsapp it, it has different level but these are the things that could cause you you know to get a ban you know depending on the severity of the attempts of service you have broken so stay clear of groups and don't post things that are unnecessary that will save you being banned from whatsapp because somebody who you don't know can even report to you. Now, number two, also, there could be a targeted uh, uh, reporting. You know, some people can feel that maybe they don't like you, so they can come together, report you frequently to WhatsApp. And unfortunately, these first lines of moderators are now robots and AI. So most of time, they don't even understand when that people are targeted. They just work with the program. Three people report to you. I'm going to check it out. And if it is severe, then I'm going to ban you. So that's the way it is. But the good thing is that for the first ban, temporary ban, you can go out and talk to the support. The second one that is much, much more critical about is people who are using third-party WhatsApp applications. Now, that is more grievous. These third-party WhatsApp apps gives you a whole lot of features. Uh, they are like WhatsApp. You can chat with people. People on WhatsApp can chat to you. But you get more features on this third-party that are not in the official one. If you, for any reason, are using this third-party WhatsApp, WhatsApp and you start chatting with somebody who's using the main WhatsApp and that person reports you for anything, you will be permanently banned. So that's the first one. You will be permanently banned. So it doesn't matter whether it's spam, phishing link or piracy or whatever. Once you're reported and the application client you're using is a third party WhatsApp app, you will be banned permanently from using WhatsApp. It gets worse. Many people who are using this third-party WhatsApp, they go to their desktop or their PC and they link their WhatsApp <laughs> to their desktop, laptop, Mac, and system. That is dangerous. Now, know this, that each of those WhatsApp is not using the same package name that is in the official one. So let me put it side by side. This is GB WhatsApp. This is package name for the original WhatsApp. So the moment you want to link your device, uh, your third-party WhatsApp here <laughs> to web.whatsapp.com, which is the official website of WhatsApp, <laughs> this action will also take the package name of the application they are using. And immediately it flags that and you link it and it flags that the package name where it's coming from is not the original WhatsApp, you will be banned permanently from using WhatsApp. So let's be clear, if you're using GB WhatsApp, please stay away from anything that I have to do with um, linking it <laughs> to any device because that feature will be probably the end of you using WhatsApp with that account or phone number. Now, finally, what do you do if you're banned? So there are 
three things you can do when you're banned. Depending on the type of ban, if it is some ban that is hours, you are restricted for hours, just let the time run out. It could be 10 hours, 20 hours, 15 hours. Let it run out and you'll be able to use WhatsApp again. If it is a temporary ban, you will have option to submit your request. So what you have to do here is to make your case very compelling. So you submit your request, make your case compelling, and then you should be able to get something, you know, from WhatsApp. But if it is a permanent ban, hmm, what you have to do is to go to whatsapp.com forward slash contact, and then you click on contact us, which is for support. And then you will see the option to fill in your phone number, your email, and then you make your case compelling. And they probably will, depending on how compelling your case is, might actually restore you back to using WhatsApp. Final one is that if you are banned on WhatsApp permanently, you can stop using WhatsApp for two months. After two months, you can just bring back the number again, register it again, and you will be allowed to use WhatsApp. That's a, a new one I discovered, you know, so we're breaking it to you. But what happens, the problem with this one is that you're going to lose all your chat history. So there won't be option for you to restore anything if you have been permanently banned on WhatsApp and you have to wait up to two months before you come to try again to register the number again on WhatsApp. So that's that <laughs> let me hear from you in the comment section if you have any problem with whatsapp being banned if you watch up to this point come on why not click on that subscribe button and turn the notification bell icon to get more videos like this and then until i see you in the next one it's always peace subscribe i'll see you